Hi, thank you for tuning back in. Today, we have quite a few things on our list of chores. The weather is beautiful, we have some seedlings sprouting, and we're ready to get to work. We're starting off with a trellis. We're using four posts that were from an old bed frame with chicken wire and zip ties. It's a really pretty day, so it's perfect to get these hardcore projects out the way. We can only have a height of five feet tall here at our community garden, so we're making sure the posts are the same height as the bird box because those are exactly, it is exactly five feet tall. We really want our beans, which are in those flat trays, to trellis up the chicken wire. So I think the height for the trellising is gonna be perfect. You can always catch the girls over there in the water. <laughs> Today, oh my goodness, I don't know where these ants came from. Ah, oh, the line of them was so long. They were searching for something. And what that something was, I don't know. But what we did find was kind of funny. Crickets. Crickets. Oh. oh my God. Oh, wow, wow. Look at all of those. Mommy, get, get away from them. My five-year-old was scared. Wow. No, I didn't but I think the two-year-old <laughs> thought they were kind of funny too. <laughs> Okay, so dealing with this chicken wire was actually kind of difficult because the material of the wire against my hand was kind of irritating. So I really took my time and I went as slow as I needed to and I did as much as I could. When I couldn't do it anymore, Randy stepped in and did everything else, but I was definitely there assisting. That salvia right there is looking so good. I'm so proud of it. This is where I had a challenge. I had to wait a couple of minutes. But this is how it came out. The pieces of wood are kind of janky right now. <laughs> But this is just a temporary setup to see if we like this design and then we'll do the opposing side. As you can see, I did the zip ties. It was much easier for me than to mess with this wire. Although it took me quite a while to put the zip ties in, I was still able to do it. I did three along the post and eventually I will do about five. And he cut the wire to size and um, it was obviously easy for him but I really like this setup I think um, I think the uh, beans are really really gonna trellis really lovely I put that plant pot up on a paver I don't know if that's gonna work for the crickets you know what time it is it is helpful tip Tuesday now on our little plot that we have, we really wanted to compost, but unfortunately there's just not enough space for us to have a real composting system. So what I did is I used um, a method that I've seen on another U YouTuber, I think her name, um, I'm gonna drop her name down below, but she composts in place and I thought that was a brilliant idea. I just, I'm just gonna compost under these pavers. This is a week's worth of a uh, smoothie mix that I'm just gonna put under here. To the left right there, that's actually lots of worms and cocoa core in that area. Um, I'm just gonna place that on top as bedding and then put the pavers right back on top of that. This is before the trellis. There's really no place for anything to climb, um, but you can see that it was the perfect space to have a trellising system. That water, that bottle of wine didn't really work. It was there for three days and none of the water came out. 
<laughs> There's another one of Zahara's little pawns that she makes for her little friends, insect friends, of course. But things are really starting to sprout. You'll see sprouts all over. I think I've seen maybe 50 or 60 sprouts. So that's just telling me that this garden is going to be luscious and green in no time. I really, really enjoyed today because the weather was so perfect. And my favorite part is that this trellis and this plot is just really becoming a home. It's really starting to feel like ours and the touch of personality is definitely coming in. If you enjoyed today's video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the feedback, the likes, and the subscribes. Um, please come back next week. I'm definitely going to start my fashion content again now that I have a new tripod. So there will be lots and lots of content coming your way. Thank you so much.